Hello friends, uh, here is a reasoning question. Let's see what the question is and what's the answer. Uh, Subendocardial infarcts are common at higher heart rates. Explain why. Now, uh, there are three different points that you need to understand and then join those dots to answer the question completely. Let's understand this. Uh, first thing is about the endocardium, the inner wall of the heart. Uh, you know, when the heart goes in systole, it compresses inward. The contraction is like this. It moves inward and therefore, uh, there is a pressure on the inner wall of the heart. Endocardium and inner wall of the heart is maximally compressed. And because of that, the blood vessels will be squeezed. That means, during ventricular systole, there is no blood flow in this layer of the heart. But when the heart goes in diastole, it expands outward. The vessels will open up because there is no pressure on the inner wall. So, vessel will open up and there is blood flow in the inner wall or inner layer or let's say endocardium. So, the first point is endocardium or inner wall of the heart receives blood flow during ventricular diastole. Now, the second point myocardial oxygen demand. Uh, as the heart rate goes on increasing, the myocardial oxygen demand goes increasing proportionately. So, at higher heart rates, there is a greater demand for oxygen supply and it can be met only with one thing by increasing the blood flow. Myocardium or heart muscle can receive extra oxygen only by receiving extra blood flow. Uh, it has got less reserves of oxygen compared to the other tissues. So, higher heart rates means, uh, it would mean there is a greater demand for blood flow uh, to supply extra oxygen. Its demand is increasing. And the third point is this, the crucial physiological aspect. Uh, you know, at the heart rate of 72 beats per minute, the cardiac cycle duration is 0.8 seconds. And in that, the systole is 0.3 seconds, diastole is 0.5 seconds. Remember, uh, endocardium receives its blood flow during diastole. Now, this is the diastole duration at normal heart rate. And then, as the heart rate goes increasing, uh, of course, cardiac cycle duration will be shorter. That means, systole and diastole, both will be shortened. But diastole suffers more. Diastole time duration is restricted to a greater extent and since diastole suffers more, it will mean that the endocardial blood flow will suffer at the higher heart rate. So, on one hand, heart muscle is demanding extra blood flow uh, because of the ex extra demand for oxygen at higher heart rates and at the same time at higher heart rates, the diastole duration is very, very short. So, that extra blood flow cannot be delivered, extra oxygen supply cannot happen. So, greater oxygen demand but cannot be fulfilled and therefore, the endocardium will suffer, it will have ischemia and possibly also infarct at higher heart rates and therefore, subendocardial infarcts are more commonly seen at higher heart rates.